Yeah. We're back. We had a little technical <laughs> difficulty with a little bug, huh? That's Costa Rica. <laughs> Thought it was a squeaky yeah. fan. <laughs> it was actually a cricket. Yes. Um, okay, so I arrived in San Carlos. We met. We talked about my treatment plan. And um, you told me you were going to pick me up the next morning. And we went to see the optometrist first. Yes. So I wanted to come and have the full experience and check out all of the different uh, medicine that Costa Rica has to offer for my own healing journey. And so basically we went, I had an eye exam, ordered six months worth of contacts and two sets of eyeglasses. And one of them were free, right? Yes, one was free, exactly. And they're going to ship it to, to like where you're Liberia, yep, yeah. to the area I'm going to be staying at next on my trip. So that was great. What, was that too convenient? It was very convenient. <laughs> it's really nice. And they were really nice. I, they, I thought she was really good. Um, she was really patient because sometimes they just don't want to spend enough time with you. Yeah, they want to and get in And here, out. you don't feel that pressure. Nobody's pressuring you to be done. Now, that's pura vida. It's not always positive. Well, most of the time positive. <laughs> but when you're doing your health, don't be rushed. Yeah, it's stressful when it's rushed because yeah. you feel stressed and you feel like you might forget a question that yeah. you want answered. Um, well, well, then we went to, after the apocalypse, we, we went to the dental side. And we were just supposed to see, examine things, right? Right. It was just going to be an exam. That was the goal, right? To start off to, with to see what I really needed. A, a diagnostic, more of an evaluation. Right. And um, he ended up agreeing that it was TMJ, which I think you and I had both talked right. about um, with me even prior coming. Um, and he wanted to start on a treatment plan right away, which was great. So we did, um, he did, did he do laser that day? Yes. He did laser that day. Um, and it, I w it was very surprising to just jump in and go for it, but I was really happy to get somebody who wanted to help me have less pain as quickly as possible, which is a real difference again. It's a big difference because sometimes physicians, sometimes there's not a lot of little consults. This one, this physicians here in Costa Rica tend to cut to the chase. Mm -hmm. Let's work on what we need to do and get you healing, which what, what they signed up for, right? Yeah. Yeah. I really wanted to kind of get things moving and he was super easy to work with really kind, made me feel completely comfortable and taken care of. Did he explain enough? Yes. Yes, he did. Um, and then he was really thorough and he said after that treatment that he wanted to do more, um, but I'm going to be leaving the area. So we fit in one more. Um, and then we talked about doing Botox um, and he wanted to do Botox for my migraines that I'm getting um, as well as I did a couple extra for cosmetic purposes. But um, I felt that was great and he wanted to do CT scans. So then we left after the appointment and went and did two CT scans. Oh, so we didn't have to wait another day. We didn't have to wait. The last time I had to get an MRI in the US, I had to wait three weeks to get in. And um, no, this was great. We, we thought we were gonna go for one CT but we did too because she actually called him and he told her that he wanted another angle that I've never had that experience before. So, and part of the reason why you, don't, you know I came here was to actually take charge of my own health care and not be caught in a system where they're not actually listening to what I know about my own body and my, what my needs are. And so thank you for helping me have the right people to help me then get what I, what I wanted and needed. And I think we got to mention one last thing, that little hook at the end, right? Oh, oh gosh, wait, no, we went back though. 
Oh, we went back? So we went back. Um, so the next day, we went back. Oh, not only that, this is full service. I got a fabulous pedicure because I had totally forgotten to do oh, it leaving the we, US. we do health pedicures here. <laughs> I forgot to mention, we do health pedicures. So if you want that. His we... wife is absolutely wonderful. And so she referred me to somebody to do that. So actually I got there first thing. And then after that, I had a treatment with his wife. And um, she is so sweet and um, just a healer. And it was really a great experience. So I did, she did acupuncture and massage, aromatherapy, and I think some Reiki work. Um, I don't even think she was done. And he's knocking on the door, making us leave <laughs> for my yeah, next my appointment. Fault, my fault. <laughs> we got to get to another point. <laughs> yes, we did. So then we went back to see, um, uh, what was, what's his name again? Dr. Brennis. Dr. Brennis. And um, he had looked at the CT scans and I was concerned that with my TMJ that I had a, um, that I might have blown the disc or damaged my jaw because I had had so much pain. And uh, he reassured me that everything looked fine um, and then we did the Botox. So he was able to do the Botox for the migraines. Um, what else? Oh, he did a little bit down here and then my lips. I wanted to try a lip flip. Just trying. You, you can yeah, do that. Yeah, yeah, I can try it. And, um, and then um, he needed me to wait a couple more days before seeing me again so that he could do another laser treatment and do the rest of the Botox. Cause he didn't want to do the Botox in my temple area because that was one of the areas he was doing he was the, laser, the laser, yes. the laser treatment, um, for my TMJ. Um, so after that, wait, I came to this absolutely beautiful place that I'm staying. That was the only one here. So it was pretty awesome. Really nice and quiet, wonderful family beautiful facility um, and I just been met with a lot of kindness went and had dinner with them last night um, I, then, didn't, I didn't get invited no I know sorry maybe next time yeah. but you know we then they drove me to meet with you again today where we went back and I did another laser treatment and then he did the Botox in my temporal area for the for the TMJ um, and then I had mentioned to Johnny and to him that I've always been a little self-conscious about a couple of my teeth. So Johnny was like, oh, I have somebody for that. And I was like, really? <laughs> so now keep them granted. <laughs> we try to always do what we can. I threw a long ball out. And we happened to land with the doctor that um, treats, and we were able to get a, uh, a dentist appointment in less than 30 minutes. Yes, we got an appointment in less than 30 minutes. He was super informative. Um, I have a veneer that's been on for like, I won't say how long, <laughs> very long, um, and probably needs to, will need to be replaced. I have some other issues and so we kind of came up with a treatment plan and we decided that we were going to whiten my teeth right away. So they yeah. immediately came out and whitened my teeth. We went and had lunch. We came back and they had the whitening trays made already to fit my teeth perfectly along with my whitening solution. Now those of you, it's not always perfect. Right. But today the stars aligned and we we're able to do all that because she wants to get other treatment. But we needed to do this first before we get a treatment. Well, you know, what? in summary, Ravani, tell us in your own words yeah. how, what this experience has been like for you. You know, and um, your own words, what for those of people thinking of coming, I, would I, they come or not come? And you know, and, yeah, and, yeah, and, yeah, and yeah. always, and we always mention, you're you're a single woman coming here by yourself. 
how was that part of this whole experience? Did you, you feel unsafe? No, no, I have felt totally safe the whole time I've been here. Um, I think I was nervous going through customs, but I was like second in line and the custom person was really nice and they gave me 180 days on my passport. Days. <laughs> so um, I won't be here that long, sad to say, but this trip anyway. So um, yeah, I feel like the experience was really good. I think, of course you're scared, you're nervous, you're gonna be nervous, but there's also gonna be this excitement. And I think that you have to follow that excitement and not let the fear keep you from moving forward. And I think you have to create a safe environment. And so I reached out to you. We created a safe environment for me. Um, and I've been really happy with everything so far. And I think, yeah. I, I, and, and the other piece is, is that you can actually get things done that you can't get done in the US. Like a lot of times you tell your doctor something's going on and they might not get an authorization from your insurance to cover it. But here it's affordable so you're okay paying out of pocket for it. So I just feel like that just frees you and gives you the ability to know what you need. And I think you're great to work with. I would really suggest if somebody's coming that they give you a call and entrust themselves to you because then you don't have to worry. Like you've already got somebody here that's taking care of you. And um, that's a huge relief. Ivani, thank you, so kind words. Well, those of you thinking about coming to Costa Rica, this is non-scripted, this is what happens. Um, it's not always Johnny taking care of you, but I'm always, in the shadows, making sure that everybody treats you the way you should be treated uh, when you're outside the country. Pura vida and always be safe. Thank you.